Welcome to Zen series, the history of medicine, video number two, looking at the Chinese ancient text, Hangzhai Nijing, also known as the Yellow Emperor Chinese medical text. Now this text is pretty old, as in it dates back to like 2600 BC era, if not longer. But the oldest artifact that we have mentioned in this text dates back to the fourth century BC. Huangdai Nijing is more than just an ancient medical text. It is part of the Chinese culture and has influenced many parts of China today. The Huangzhai Nijing brings in the principle of Taoism, the balance of yin and yang. It's being one with the earth, having your balance, your qi, your energy, being equal or equivalent to whatever is going on. There's mention of meridians. These meridians are used in acupuncture. There's mention of sex, diet, balancing one's anger and emotions, not overindulging. This Taoist mindset is embedded in traditional Chinese medicine and no traditional Chinese medical physician who practices Chinese medicine will separate themselves from the principles of Taoism. The text provides a traditional Chinese interaction between a medical physician and his patient or her patient. In this case, it is the king, the emperor, who is inquiring medical questions. The text provides an insight on how the medical physician interacts with the patient. The patient, who is the king, is inquiring health questions about why do some people live longer? Why is it that some people seem to not get stressed out? Why is it the people of the past used to live 100 plus years and the people today barely make it to 50? These questions are answered by the Taoist medical physician who says yin and yang. The good doctor prescribes a lifestyle that encompasses Taoist principle, Taoism. The doctor says people of the past lived according to the seasons. They ate healthy. They did not overindulge in food, in exercise, in sex. They had a balance. They practiced moderation, regularity. There was no over-exhausting oneself. Traditional Chinese medical physicians today implement this simplicity, Zen, Taoist mindset to their patients. It's how they run their life and not just their medical health, but in all aspects. Why is this important today? Well, many of us are living over exhausting lives where we're putting too much emphasis on our respiratory issues, our cardiovascular issues. Maybe we have gout. Zen's Tea House has a tea for gout. But Really, we need to have a more holistic approach to our life, and that is encompassed by the balance of having a Taoist mindset towards our health. There is no separation between the hand and the heart, or the leg and the mouth. Every part of our body is interconnected, and traditional Chinese medicine is built off this sex, the Huangdai Nijing. Hope you like this video, and if you want more information about Chinese medicine, please click the link below and visit our website, zensmed.com. If you want information on how to get connected with a medical physician who practices traditional Chinese medicine, please click the link, zensmed.com.